Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on how to make your own minigame place in Roblox. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a sword fight minigame. So first, let's make our map. I'm just going to insert a part into workspace and size it up. I'm just going to add in then some quick obstacles. I'm not really doing much here. Alright, there is our very high quality map. I'm then going to left click and drag to select all the parts, or I can hold shift and click. Then go to model and click on group. Now I'm actually going to get the weapon that we'll be using. I'm just going to go to the toolbox right here and search for a sword. Whenever inserting models into your game, you want to make sure that they're from a trustworthy source so that they don't have viruses. This model, for instance, is by Roblox so we can trust them. I'm going to add it into the game and I'm not going to add it into the starter pack. Then I can drag this sword into our model, which is what our map is going to be. It's just going to kind of chill right here for a while, but it's not going to be there when the minigame actually starts. Lastly, we're just going to add in an int value and call it sword. This will make it so that our script can just detect what type of minigame it is. And you can actually insert any sort of tool that you would like here that kills players. It'll only support one, but as long as it's a tool class, the script's going to recognize it. One last thing that we're going to do is make sure that all the parts are anchored inside of our map except for the tool because if the tool is anchored then all the players will just get stuck in one position. So you just want to make sure that this handle has anchor set to false. Now we're going to find where our teleports are and they're right here and we're just going to drag them over top. Alright so we're all set there. I'm going to drag this down to replicate storage and into our maps folder. And I'll just name it Sword Fight. All right, now let's enter into our script in server script service. To get started, we're gonna add in another variable called round type and just set it to a blank string. And this will allow us to keep track of what type of minigame the server is currently on more easily. And in our if statement that evaluates and checks if the minigame is an obby, then if it is, we're going to set round type equal to obby. Then we're also going to add in an else if. So if there isn't an instance inside of the map named obby, we're instead going to look for an instance named sword, which in our map is this value right here. If this is the case, we're going to set round type equal to sword, and we're going to find local children as equal to workspace.ingame, which brings us to right here. And then we're going to get the children so we can go through all of the children inside of the folder with the for loop. We're then going to do a for i equals one comma the number of children do. And then we're going to do map find first child, which is this right here. Except then we're going to add in which is a, which allows us to look for an instance by the class name instead of the name. So we're looking for an instance that is a tool. And once we find that, we're going to clone it and set the parent equal to the current child that we're on. Once we've given the sword to every single character that's in the minigame, we're just going to do this line right here once more. Except instead of cloning it, we're going to destroy it so it doesn't stay idle in workspace. Alright, so now we've given everyone a sword. We have to make it so that the round can end when there's only one player left. And we have to make it so it can stay the winner. We're going to add another conditional that can make this repeat loop end. We're going to do an or, and then these right here, where we can add in multiple conditionals that all have to be true for the repeat loop to end. So, let's do if the number of workspace dot in game get children, and that's the same thing we have right here, except if it's equal to one and the round type equals sword, we're doing a double equal once again because we're evaluating then we know that there's only one player left in the sword fight so then that'll cause our until loop to end we then have to say who the winner is because the obby determines the winner up here but that's not the case for this mini game so we're just going to copy these conditionals right here once more and add it in an if statement down here so if this evaluates to true we know that the round just ended because of these conditions, so it's currently a sword fight round and there's only one player left. 
We can then set status.value equal to workspace.ingame find first child which is a so we're looking for instances by class name once more model which is what all characters are and then we'll get the name so let's say i was the last player left inside of the sword fight game this would return zingodev underscore yt then we'll do a dot dot has one and this will set status dot value to who is one so now we can exit out of our script and hit play now when we go through the intermission, it's going to choose between one of the two of our minigames, which is the obby minigame we did last episode, and the sword fight one we did this episode. As you can see, we'll be doing sword fight. It gives us our sword, and it says I have won because there's no one else left. So, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. In the next video, I'll be showing you guys how to reward players points when they win. So, I'll see you there.